Welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Friday. Um, don't ignore the dates for this vlog. The dates are probably gonna be like longer days than I typically record for because I'm starting the vlog earlier than I usually do because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So that's gonna be a separate vlog. So I'm like, you know what? I got something to say. So let me start the let me start the other vlog that's gonna go up on Wednesday. <laughs> um got a tow truck? Yeah, so y'all like I just had a thought because you guys saw that video. I, I know it's raining. It's like shh okay. <laughs> it's so loud. Ah, I can't hear myself. Okay, anyway, if you saw that video of the woman who was at the gym and she was assaulted by the man that came into the gym. I'm not gonna put the video on the screen because it's kind of like traumatizing um, trigger warning. Let me say that. But my thing is like, everyone's saying shoulda, coulda, woulda, she should've done this, I would've done that. Like, leave that on the playground, why? because you never know what you're gonna do until you're in a situation. And I had to remind myself of that just now because when I watched the video, like the first time I saw the video, it was just, sorry, it's like chicken. The first time I saw the video, it was like a news clip. So you didn't really get the gist of, like you didn't see the full video. So when I watched the full video, it was like two minutes or so. Um, and you get and you just saw like what she did and whatever, whatever. But my thought was, she like ran past the door like the front door she ran past it as she was trying to like elude him and at first i was like she should have ran out the door like she the door the front door was right there like she should have left um but again that goes into the shoulda coulda woulda stuff because you never know what you're going to do until you're in the situation she was trying she was on her phone i guess she was trying to she was probably kind of trying to call 911 um as he was trying to like attack her people were like well she should have hit him with the dumbbell and she should have Ow! Oh, uh, just like I'm taking these nails off. I'm scared, y'all. I just, I just pushed back the skin under my nail. Like I just keep doing it. That just hurt. Like I literally felt the skin under my nail like come apart. Like anyway that hurt but um what was I saying like <laughs> sorry y'all <laughs> sorry y'all I actually let me just say, say this real fast I just did a double let me just say that I had worked 16 hours I went home took a shower and now I'm on my way to my best friend's house and she did my eyebrows so I'm a little tired but whatever um but anyway like I was saying everyone's saying like she should have hit him with a dumbbell she should have never opened the door that was like a common response so why did she open the door for this man because that's what she did in the very beginning of the video she was doing her workout somebody was trying to get in she opened the door but let me just say this yes as a woman you have to take these precautions you have to have in your mind like this could happen to me and I need to be careful yes very much so as a woman we know this um but it's kind of thought of as a common courtesy to just open the door for somebody. Like, you ever been in like an apartment building? I know some people swear by not doing this, which I understand, but let me think. Um, you ever just been in a, open, a space and someone opened the door for you? Like, you ever like not had your key and someone just held the door for you to come in? Like, it's kind of like a courtesy thing. It's not super like uncommon. Like, you know, somebody just trying to get into the gym, she's probably like, oh, like, let me just, open the door for them so they can come and do their workout too especially if this is something that she's done before if this is a gym that she frequents and it's happened before where she opened the door for somebody and they came and did their workout she did her workout they went home everything was fine like if that's a regular thing for you like if you're used to it being a very casual experience nothing ever goes wrong then open the door is not going to be something that you're thinking oh nah i'm not doing it like if if it's such a a, a kind gesture gesture then you're not gonna second guess like, oh, I'm gonna just open the door for this man. So 
so that's kind of what it was and the thought I had was this time where I was um I was trying to get back into this parking garage and I you're, I didn't know you you have like a ticket that you're supposed to use to get into the parking garage I didn't know that I just knew the door was locked so somebody was in there and I was trying to open the door to get back to my car and somebody opened the door for me and it's just like a thought like I could have came in there and went crazy you never know but it's just a common courtesy to open the door for somebody as you see they're struggling they're trying to get into the building it's just like a common courtesy like let's not act like that's a thing that like you should never do. well you probably shouldn't do it honestly but let's not act like that's a thing that's like super uncommon or like doesn't happen on a regular where usually it's nothing wrong with just opening the door for, for somebody let me let me just say that first right number two uh, people were like, well, you could tell that, you know, he wasn't dressed for the gym. So you should have, like, all this shoulda, coulda, woulda nonsense is annoying. Because you don't know what you would have done in that situation. Yes, maybe, like, somebody else would have ignored the person. They would have just said, you need your key. Like, you know, maybe maybe someone else would have handled the situation differently. And that's fine. But let's not shame her for handling it the way she did. Because it's still his fault that he assaulted her. Like, let's not victim blame. Like, that's what we're not going to do. Um... And then I'm like, she, um, like I said, my thought was initially when I watched the video, she should have ran out of the door. Cause she literally, as she was trying to get away from him, she, she ran past the front door to the other side of the gym, as opposed to running out the front door. But that probably wasn't on her mind. I'm pretty sure that after the situation was over, she replayed that moment in her head a million times. I'm pretty sure she did. I'm pretty sure she went home and was like traumatized, but was still like, yo, I should have done this. I should have done that. Yes, it's always going to be things that you think you could have done differently. But, like, let's not shame people for it. Because you don't know what you're going to do in a situation until you're in it. And that goes for a lot of things that people voice their opinions on. You don't know what you're going to do until it's like, you don't know what you're going to do. And it's just, it just reminded me of something. When people be like, this... <laughs> uh, the thought that came to my head, I'm, like, contemplating on if I want to share. But I'm going to share with y'all because I love y'all, right? So... <laughs> It like my ex boyfriend or whatever, he he had a car, right? And his car broke down. So he didn't have a car anymore. But he lived in a different state than I did. So there'll be times where I let him drive my car. And it, this reminded me of that because people be like, Well, why would you don't ever let a man drive your car? Don't you ever do that? Da -da 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 -da. You don't know what you're gonna do in that situation. You're the man that you are in a relationship with has to get to work. He'll have no way to get to work. He at your house. It's like you don't know what you're gonna do until you're in that situation. So you might let him drop your car for the day. Like you might let him drop you off at work and he's and he go to work. Like you never know what you're gonna do in that situation. Yes, some people might stand by just letting him figure it out himself. Like, okay, you're my boyfriend, but you gotta figure it out. You're not using my car. Maybe you would have stood on that. Maybe. But in my situation, I felt more like I was trying to be helpful. Like you're trying to help you want to help your boyfriend most most likely right so you're like okay well how can we make this easier for you like okay the easy way right now would be for you to take my car and we can work it out like that so you don't know what you're gonna do until you're in a situation until you're in that situation um again let's not judge people for that people are like i would never let i would never let some i would never let my boyfriend drive my car you don't know that say if he like you don't know that like you don't know that if it's your boyfriend that you love that you've been in a relationship for, with for a minute you might trust him enough to let him drive your car like let's be for real let's be for real so it's funny when people like throw it out there but you never know what you're gonna do until you're in a situation that's all that's that's the bottom line bottom line but yeah that was like my, my ramble for the morning it's literally 10 10 o'clock in the morning but I had the thought because, again, this, I think the situation, the video came out yesterday of the girl in the gym. So this morning, I saw like the full clip this morning and I just was thinking about it. I'm like, yo, y'all never, you just never know. You can't be so judgmental when you've never been in the situation. So, um, like I said, I'm about to go get my eyebrows done. Um, my best friend does microblading and shading. So I haven't, I have got mine done a long time ago where you, you basically, she's gonna give my eyebrows more definition and they, they're gonna be a little bit darker. Um, and just have more of a shape. I won't really have to do them at all. So that'll be what I'm about to go do now. I'm gonna stop at Duncan first and get her something to eat and then, and then yeah. I'm gonna check in with y'all later. Um, I did have another thought, but I'm probably gonna just be quiet. I'm just gonna be quiet for now. <laughs> Bye. Okay, um, eyebrow time. What are we doing, Tyra? Shading. Shading. 
All right, so this is the before. I did get my eyebrows threaded per at some point a couple weeks ago. So, okay. Oh God. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Wait, where are you at? Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Child, why she got my whole face? <laughs> <laughs> she trying to get it on camera? <laughs> Okay, I'm done. <laughs> As you guys can see, they're dark, but how the microblading and shading works is that it peels, it's like a tattoo basically, so it'll peel and then lighten up. Um, but basically the point of it is so that there's a constant shape on my eyebrows. I don't ever have to fill them in when I'm doing my makeup. Um, they're already done, like literally 24 seven. So I haven't gotten them done in a while, like I was telling y'all, it's been a little minute, um, but I always like them. Um, if you are in the Philly, South Jersey area, I will put her contact information below. Lashes, eyebrows, um, you name it. Period. <laughs> My best friend does it. So, that's, that is that. That's, it's about 12 o'clock now. It's a little after 12. But I'm just going to go home for now. Um, mind my business. Um, I pro Oh, I need to start editing and stuff like that. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. And then I will tune in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Okay, I'm back home. It's time for a kava date. We love kava. Okay, a couple things I always get in my kava. Red pepper hummus. So good. Red pepper hummus. Um, white sweet potatoes. So good. Pita bread. So good. Okay. I'll see y'all there. It's been two days since Valentine's Day. My face is dry. We're doing skincare. But it's been two days since my Valentine's Day. Um, so fun. Um, just for a second, I'm using the Glow Recipe Pore Tight Toner that I've mentioned a couple times. I literally have the sample size, but I see people applying their products with their hands. Like skincare girlies. It's this girl I follow on TikTok that does skincare. Um, and she applies certain products with her hands. So I was like, let me try to do it with my toner. Maybe there's like a, a certain rule to that. But anyway, Valentine's Day, so fun. Like when I say I would typically, I would literally um, consider doing that more often. Like I had so much fun with that in general. Um, even just hosting it down to like decorating and vlogging was even really fun. Just showing you guys the process. That vlog was so long, y'all. I had the most difficulty with YouTube yesterday. Count your days, you know, count your days YouTube because the way I uploaded that hour and a half video five times, like literally five times. Um, and it kept deleting like 10 minutes of my video. Either it was deleting that, which Nicole actually said, another creator said was happening to her too. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm happy I'm not the only one because I was so confused. I'm like, did I download it wrong? Like, I was confused, but they either kept deleting 10 minutes off the end of my video. I said, I'm not uploading it like this. Like, this is wrong. Y'all didn't even see the end. <laughs> and then 
it, it was either doing that or it would upload the right time but it wouldn't play like it was the weirdest thing it just would not it wouldn't play at all like i would literally go to um it would say it was uploaded and mind you it already takes an hour to upload like it already takes an hour to upload so then i go through the hassle of uploading it just for it not to play anyway like it was just so annoying it was so annoying um i'm using these dr dennis gross pads these here um kyra i'm unique actually put me onto these a couple years ago she had them in one of her skincare vlogs if it would there it is but she had it in one of her skincare vlogs and these are the extra strength because my skin is used to it now i like dr dr dennis gross in general like it's really a good skincare brand it is a little on the pricier side like the five pack be like it was like 18 dollars or something i can't remember but it's expensive it's an expensive brand but the skincare is good like you know so it's like which do you care about more do you care about the price or do you care about the fact that it works like which one do you care about oh yeah yeah but it was so fun y'all so cute and then actually yesterday i was <laughs> i decided to paint like i was i've been painting i'm gonna show you guys what i painted um again yesterday i'll probably end up painting again today honestly because <laughs> It was fun. I had fun with the painting. Um, let my face dry. You have to keep this one for two minutes, the first pad. So, I'm patience. I don't use it that often because I don't be patient. Like, having to wait and then come back to my skincare. Two minutes later, child, I didn't, I didn't start at something else by then at that point. So, it was a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Let me know what was your favorite part of it. I would love to know. Um, because again, I would do like I would do something like this again for sure. Um, I did mention to you guys before I did a vision board party. This was like a couple years ago. I would absolutely do it again. Absolutely do it again. I would just have to rent out a space because clearly, like before, I did it in my house and I just decorated my house. But I can't do my can't do it in my house this time. It's too small here. Um, so I would definitely rent a space and do like a vision board event. Oh my gosh, I would so do that. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it 2024. So. I'll be so if you guys live in the area I'll be planning for it around like you guys will start seeing it around like November I'll probably start promoting it and stuff like that so yeah that's gonna be fun <laughs> but as far as the day I need to do my laundry like very badly but do I feel like it no i'm a morning laundry girl too like i have to wake up and like get right to my laundry so that i'll be done by like nine <laughs> and it's like it's already eight o'clock i didn't eat breakfast i'm probably just gonna do it tomorrow because i don't feel like it. another exciting thing that you guys can look forward to in the next couple of weeks my friends and i are supposed to be going to dc and we're just gonna stay there for um just a night it's not gonna be anything long but i'm still looking forward to it because we'll be like let's go out to dinner or like let's go somewhere and just like do something so i'm looking forward to that too you guys are gonna see the d it's not gonna be a dc well i could make it a dc vlog i don't know if i'm gonna make it a, uh, its own dc vlog or just integrate it into a regular like weekly um but you guys will figure, you guys will see when it comes <laughs> i'm about to eat some breakfast finish my skincare i do have to like i said do the second peel in about a minute now and then I'm going to go in with a serum. I'm going to use the Good Molecules. Good Molecules is a very affordable and good skincare brand. Like, this discolorating, correcting serum, I'm going to have a link below. This is probably one of their, this is probably the, the, the product that I see the most from them. That I see people saying works. And I have noticed, okay, I'm not even halfway through the bottle yet. But I actually really do like this. Like, I like to use it as my serum um and it's a good and they're inexpensive like that's the most important part about good molecules they're ex inexpensive i need to go and get that bar soap that i had from them um they sell them at ulta and stuff i don't know if they have it at sephora but they definitely have it at ulta and then i'm going to use my moisturizer which is just going to be the ali Oop dream team i love using this because this is kind of to me like if it is so bright but anyway it's probably to me like a neutral um moisturizer like and i say neutral i mean like you can use it at any point in time. I use this as the base of my makeup. When I want to do my makeup, I use this one. Um, it doesn't have any, like, chemicals in it. Like, you know, it's not, like, polypeptide. Like, it's not nothing like that. So, it's neutral to me. Like, you could just kind of slap it on, 
whenever and then of course I'm going to use my sunscreen afterwards um so next time you guys see me I might be shiny I might be shiny ain't nothing wrong with it <laughs> It's just a sunscreen. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get my life together, eat some breakfast, um, and I'll tune back in. Hey y'all, it's later in the day. I just did my makeup because I wanted to, I've been slacking on the content. Low key, like I guess like me trying to prepare for Valentine's Day, I didn't sit down to actually like record anything. After I did my seven days of outfits, I didn't really record much. Um, so I decided to do like some uh, alley-oop, content with that concealer i showed you guys um a couple of vlogs ago this is a second skin concealer um and champion i used and i think it came out really pretty like i'm not even mad at it i didn't use no foundation i did use like contour um i put a little bit on my eyes just to give me a little color blush um i did set my face and stuff like that but for the most part i didn't use any foundation and i think it came out really pretty like i'm not even mad at it i was just saying like I'm trying to perfect that like flawless, effortless makeup look where like it doesn't, it looks like I have on makeup, but it's very simple. I'm not over, I don't have to overdo my face. Um, and again, y'all know I got my eyebrows done too. So I don't, I didn't do anything to my eyebrows and they look perfectly fine, which is why I love that microblading and shading. Like, hello. Now, of course, it's always going to be rough if they don't, if you don't like the shape that the person does it. But Tyra, she just know what she doing. So, period. It's like, nah. Um. <laughs> but it came out so nice. So, um, they're in their peeling phase. I don't think I mentioned them to you guys. So, they're like peeling. Let me see if I can show y'all what I mean. Yeah, see? I know it looks so nasty. It's Y'all y'all can't see, but it literally just peeled under my nail. It's literally, where's my nail? It literally just peels. And it looks like scab, basically. It's like peeling like a scab. So it looks nasty, yes, I will say. It does look nasty when it peels, but um, it's super worth it. And yeah, I like the look. I did do some mascara today. I had to run to the store to get some micellar water because I literally had a spit drop left. So I was like, Morgan, just go to the store. I went to the store. Mind you, my tire, I just got to get new tires. I got to get new back tires. When I went to go get my tires done the last time, I only got my front tires because they're so expensive. Like, new tires are expensive. So, I only got my front tires. I wasn't paying for all four at the time. So, now it's time for me to pay for my other two in the back. Because, girl, my tire air pressure was on 10. It's supposed to be on 45. It's on 10. Y'all, my tire was, like, flat, basically. Like, it looked like it was, like, <laughs> it looked all soggy. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get more tires. But mind you, yesterday I didn't go anywhere. So when I don't go anywhere, your car is sitting, the cold weather, like the tires just get, the, the air drains anyway. So girl, I had to put some air in my tire this morning, which is really annoying. I need to put some money aside to get my tires done again. Um, but I guess adulting, I guess. <laughs> um, so I'm hungry, y'all. Do you tell, please tell me somebody has a friendlies around? Do y'all have a friendlies? Please, in your state, do you have a friendlies? I am fiending for a honey barbecue chicken super meal from friendlies. I've been fiending for it since yesterday. It's literally a chicken sandwich with like barbie, like a honey barbecue sauce, and it has like bacon on it. Which sometimes I get the bacon taken off because it's pork bacon, but like and cheese and french fries. It's so good. Like when I say me, my sister, and my dad used to go there all the time as kids. And because they closed down a lot of friendlies. They don't be like there was one near me and they closed that one. Open them back up. You know, uh, let's sign a petition because that honey barbecue chicken soup milk could have kept the store alive. It's honestly two of them that's closed near me. So they need to relax. Please don't close. I don't need them to close this last one for real. Because I might go and get one today. Like I'm like. <laughs> that might be my dinner. A honey barbecue chicken soup milk with french fries. Oh! So good! <laughs> Y'all, it's so good. Um, but I might have to go do that. But I need to figure out what I'm eating for lunch because it's about 12 o'clock now. 11.50. Um, so I need to figure out lunch, I guess. I want some avocado toast or something. Like... So, I'm going to figure it out, though. My dad just said I'm getting my... He's getting something done. He's going to the doctor's today, so pray for him. Y'all say a quick prayer real quick for my father if you don't mind so okay i'll talk to you guys a little bit later um i'm probably gonna text my mom and see how she's doing i haven't talked to her in a couple days but okay 
I'm just rambling at this point. Bye. So this is the makeup and lighting. My nose is, I should have put powder on my nose. I don't know why I didn't. My nose always gets greasy. But, um, y'all know I had to, <laughs> I just couldn't, couldn't resist. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all when I get when I get it. I had to take my clothes and makeup off before I could eat. Like I just <laughs> I need to chill. But we secured the bag. Oh, I'm so hungry. It's not so funny. Oh, I smell it. I smell it. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so, done eating and everything, all that good stuff. But I wanted to show you guys the little paintings I made because I'm about to paint again. <laughs> it's literally just a way to time to pass time. I took my little tripod thing off, so I'm gonna just have to hold my camera. But a way to pass time, I literally just set up my little station. I have Real Housewives of Potomac Reunion on, so I'm about to get into that. But the one that I made on Valentine's Day was this one. Inspiration from TikTok, of course. That's what I, let me get out of the frame so I can. But that's what I found myself doing. I was like, let me see if TikTok has like easy painting canvas ideas. Oh, there's the color. So you see the pink, and like I said, I copied this off of a TikTok I saw, which of course, you know, the leaves are a little round, <laughs> but I thought it was really cute. And it's honestly like, this sparked my want to pick up, not a hobby, but just like something, I guess a hobby. Cause I saw this post before saying like, as a creator, you should have something that you like to do other than create. Like, cause ultimately, this is kind of a, a this is kind of a job ultimately, right? Like the purpose is to get paid and to well, a part of the purpose is is to get paid. Um, eventually, at least at, you know, for most of us. Um, but like what do you what do you like to do that's not that you don't get paid from that you just enjoy doing? So this is the one that I made what was that yesterday? And again, TikTok, of course I added like I added this orange if the lighting will pick it up. So it's supposed to be like a beach, like <laughs> Y'all see my water, <laughs> but I thought this was—I thought it was really cute. It's like I don't know the picture. Mine is a little bit brighter than what the picture. I mean, than what the TikTok was. Like the TikTok, um, it was a little bit darker, so it really gave like sunset. The water splashing on the, it was darker, so it's kind of like—is that the moon and the sun? Like I don't know, but it's cute. These two are like my babies right now. <laughs> I just have them like propped up on my, um, literally on my like window. But I'm about to do another one. And just like, again, passing time and it's just kind of something fun to do. If you guys like to paint, let me know. I think it's really just a nice thing to do. I'm not saying I'm a painter, but just fun. Just fun, I guess. And again, getting inspiration from TikTok, which is always helpful. So, I'm about to do that. Watch The Real Housewives of Potomac. I'm going to show you guys what I end up painting. I don't even know. I don't have a thought right now. What I kind of do, I was thinking maybe I'll do like sections some way, somehow. I don't know. We'll figure it out.
Y'all, I made one more painting after the ones I just showed you guys and I ate down. Okay. I ate. Oh. Okay, hold on. I think it's so cute. I had a picture in my phone that I was using for reference and then I just literally just tweaked it. Look at how cute. <laughs> They're like little Christmas trees. And then the sky, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I did put tape around the border, so hopefully it didn't leak too badly when I removed the tape so that it's still like staying within the frame. Oh my gosh, hold on, let me take it off. Look! <laughs> Yo, I can't really do anything. This is so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. I love everything about this. This is so adorable. <laughs> Where's my other one? Like, today was a good day. <laughs> so cute, I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna do that one again. But maybe like I'll switch the colors up or something. Oh, I'm so happy with that one. I'm gonna show you guys a picture on my phone that I was looking at initially. Not really for, well I guess for inspiration. I kinda like started this, trying to do the sky in a similar way. This is the phone, the picture on my phone, wait. Let me get the phone first, move my face. Okay, this was a picture of my phone. As you can see, the sky is kind of, I tried to kind of like get a little, you guys really can't, probably can't really tell. Maybe I should just put the um, picture on the screen so you guys will be able to kind of see it a little bit better. But like, that was like my reference initially. I wasn't able to get it exactly, but. Aw, that made me so happy. <laughs> that just kind of made my night. <laughs> Because <laughs> that just came out so cute. Way better than I expected it to come out. So cute. <laughs> I'm a, uh, <clears throat> oh my gosh. I'm, a, um, I'm going to uh, stop because I have two more little canvases left before I have to go and buy some more. <laughs> so um, I'm going to take a little painting break. But the four that I've done so far, I'm loving them. Loving them. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. I convinced myself to go to the gym today. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> um, literally, it's I woke up at 6.30. It's 7.06 right now. I just have on my little... I was just I just commented on Miana's video talking about how a cute set helps you, like, it might help motivate you a little bit. <laughs> Me, speaking for myself. Um, but I have, like, this green little two-piece set. I just have... It's, a, it's actually, like, a jacket, so... I guess I'll go to the gym. Let me be quiet so I can just go. I don't know what it is about just getting up and going. Like, when I'm in the gym, I feel fine. So I have to, like, it's a, it's going to be a mindset thing for me, just getting over the thought of getting up and going. Like, Morgan, I don't... 6.30? Like, but I feel good. I actually feel good. I'm not, like, tired. I was in bed, like, 11-something, but I probably dozed off more closer to 12, so... Six and a half hours, not too bad. I don't feel like drowsy. So let's get this workout done and I'll be back. Such a great workout. Like I said, it's not even about <laughs> the workout. It's about getting there. The motivation to actually get up, get dressed, stretch, get there, like that process. But I'm gonna try to like motivate myself a little bit more. And yeah. <laughs> But I'm about to figure out what I'm going to eat for breakfast. I'll probably just make something super simple. Um, and watch some TV. I think I want to paint again. Yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm painted out. But I think I want to paint again. Just for the heck of it. It's 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's 9.05 at the time, at the moment. I have my little set and set one. All my balloons still... But yeah. Hey y'all. It's later in the day. Um, I'm not having the best day. So um, I just came to the park. I was trying to do. I just came to the park. <laughs> because <clears throat> I felt like sitting in my apartment just kind of felt really <sighs> draining or like, I don't know. So I'm at the park. 
um people are out just playing and i'm not gonna get out because i mean it's a nice day but i literally just threw on a little sweater because i was just like i intended on just sitting in the car because i brought a bunch of stuff i have I have my planner so if I have any ideas and just things that are upcoming I haven't filled anything out in my planner in a couple days so it's been a long time for me at least um, so I'm gonna do something like that I bought a Sudoku, Sudoku book if you like Sudoku Sudoku however you pronounce it let me know in the comments um, my mom put me onto these when I was younger and I've had this book for years like for years so I pick it up every once in a while. Look, the first entry says 2018. <laughs> it says 2-6-2018. 2 <laughs> so I just pick this up every once in a while when I'm doing stuff like this at the park. Stuff like that. So I brought the All About Love book. Um, I really just, this was kind of like a bag stuffer. I haven't really been reading like I've been intending on. So times like this where I'm literally just doing nothing um i'm off today so i was just like chilling and i'm like let me just do something and last but not least i bought my content book so i have a couple things with me i'm just gonna turn my car off and just chill and people watch a little bit they're like playing some like soccer across the field people are walking and stuff um we roll it up just a little bit so i won't get cold <laughs> Um, I can't wait for spring because there's something about just being outside. You know when people say when people tell other people to touch grass, like no really touch grass because <laughs> it's just something about being outside, being in the sun. And that was my intention, but I parked. The sun is behind me. I was really trying to park somewhere that was kind of like secluded. I can still have a view of people, and the sun just happens to be behind me. So, but it's just something about like being out, warm weather that just puts a battery in my back so that's why I need to move I always talk about moving but I my dad was saying like to me before how great it would be if I could like experience moving to like New York or like something like that and just being in like a city and I'm like I feel you like I would love to move to a different city um, or to a city because the town I live in isn't really considered a city it's like a town whatever um, but I would love to be able to do that. My thing is, I just don't want to, I'm not the type to do things without planning. Like y'all know me already between my planner and my content book. I need to like figure it out before I jump on something. I need to have a plan. And this isn't really nitpick planning. It's just trying to be set planning. I'm not going to just move out there with no job. Like I just, I I'm not taking that type of risk in my life at this stage. Like, I would need to see some motion somewhere. Maybe if I had a um, virtual job or like a um, work from home type of situation, that would be different. But I don't got that. So, um, so I guess it's just a matter of figuring out what my next steps will be. And um, it doesn't have to be this year. I'm not trying to force anything on myself but um i don't know i'm just like blah today so i will talk to y'all a little bit later hey y'all it's the next day um i'm feeling good i'm well rested and i woke up at about seven today i'm about to go do my laundry actually so i'm actually going to end the vlog off here because i need to start editing for you guys um, so when I come back from my laundry, I'm going to get that done. So this can be out to you guys today. Okay. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Double text. Got me out of my element. I don't want to feel like I'm selling. Double